People across the country are watching as the Supreme Court nomination process for Judge Katanji Brown Jackson pushes forward. In today's Coffee with, Jessica Albert takes us to Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women, where several students are inspired by Jackson's historic nomination. Stand. The United States could soon have its first black female Supreme Court justice. Judge Katanji Brown Jackson is making her way through the nomination process. And as she does, she's inspiring these young women. Well, it's just amazing knowing that things are changing, like it's evolving. You know, that's more black people coming into the world, like having their voices heard. Amira Hargis, Shiloh Claiborne, and Anaya Baker are sophomores at the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. WJZ had a chance to sit down with them between classes. Seeing somebody that you want to be like or girls here want to be like and using that as a model to say, okay, she did this and I can do it. One of the young women, Anaya, wants to study law. Growing up in the city, you don't see a lot of black women become attorneys even, especially judges, that is an amazing accomplishment. And just to see her do that, it makes me feel like I can become an attorney. The girls started learning about Judge Jackson in their history class. They've been closely watching every update since, learning from her as they follow along. My favorite thing about studying her is that even though you can clearly see that um, certain things make her uncomfortable, she keeps going. They will continue to watch the process, hoping to inspire someone themselves as they get older. I realized through her that in order for something to happen, you might have to be the first person in order to make other people see that they can do it. The girls also said it was important for all young people to pay attention to the nomination process. WJZ will continue to cover this process for you. You can find information on air and on our website. Reporting in Baltimore, Jessica Alpert for WJZ.